Hello, here is a specimen of a kidney and this specimen has been coronally bisected so we're looking at the capsular surface here and this is the cut surface. So first of all, on the capsular surface we can see that there are multiple rather deep cortical scars and when we look at the cut surface, we can appreciate that the cortical medullary junction is actually quite indistinct and difficult to appreciate. There may be a hint that the cortex is somewhat thinned. Looking at the renal pelvis, uh, this is again quite difficult to appreciate uh, in this particular plane of section. But we can see here, this is part of the renal pelvis. The calicyl system is not well seen here, but it appears to be somewhat distorted. So we have a combination of features of deep cortical scars, of blurring of the cortical medullary junction, and some distortion of the renal pelvic calicyl system. This is an example of a case of chronic pyelonephritis. Chronic pyelonephritis is a condition in which there is inflammation and scarring that involves the renal tubules, the interstitium, and also the pelvic calicial system. The causes could include infectious causes, for example, with bacterial infections, and these are usually from ascending infections from the bladder as a result of contamination from uh, fecal organisms like E. coli, Klebsiella, etc. There can also be mechanical factors, for example, vesicoureteric reflux, or if there is obstruction, which can lead to stasis of the urine. Clinically, the patients may actually remain asymptomatic for some time until eventually the concentrating function of the renal tubules is lost and this can result in polyuria as a form of renal insufficiency. Let's have a quick look at the microscopic picture. Here is an example of chronic pyelonephritis, and this is also very similar to what we see in end-stage kidney. Chronic pyelonephritis is an important cause of end-stage kidney. And we can see that uh, the tubules themselves are very abnormal. They appear quite dilated. They are filled with this proteinaceous material, and also the cells that align the tubules are very flattened and atrophic. In fact, this actually kind of resembles thyroid parenchyma. So sometimes this is referred to as thyroidization. The other feature that we see is the presence of chronic inflammation in the interstitium, which is also part and parcel of chronic pyelonephritis. Occasionally, we can have acute or chronic pyelonephritis, and there may be a component of acute inflammation as well. The glomeruli also may be sclerosed, as we see here, and again, we see a lot of chronic inflammation in the interstitium. So in summary, this is an example of chronic pyelonephritis. A lot of the changes that we see are very similar to end-stage kidney. In this particular specimen, we can see a combination of deep cortical scars that are visible on the capsular surface. There is blurring of the cortical medullary junction and distortion of the pelvic calicial system.